1997 was good to French chef Thierry Rotoro's Seattle restaurant, Rovers. The Zagat survey classified it in its best food category, and it was awarded first place for Seattle in the Gourmet Top Tables Reader's Poll. He offers Alaskan King Salmon Tuna Dos with Puget Sound Sea Urchin Sauce. Today we're going to do what's called a Salmon Tuna Dough, which is basically try to shape the salmon loin once boned out and skinned out, shape it into a tuna dough. So first you need to have a nice fish, preferably under 15 pounds or 18 pounds. Once you have your sides, what you want to do is get rid of the uh, belly skin. Thank you. Then we're going to proceed to skin the salmon. Gently lift it up from the skin. Pin bones are removed. They're pretty hardy. A pair of tweezers or a pair of nose pliers will do if you can't get such an instrument. Only a portion of the filet is used to form the tournados. Once all the pin bones have been taken out, what you want to do is butterfly the salmon. By giving it gently pressure, with your blade. Then you want to flip it around and allow you to work on the back of the salmon to put all the meat perfectly inside. The next uh, process is just to roll the salmon as tight as possible, just like you would another loin of any kind. Make sure you do it gently to not tear out the meat. Following this, just take some string. Tie your string just like you would for a tournado, which means you put the string as far as you want the tournado size to be. You will be slicing each tournado in between each string. Therefore, you'll have the size you can actually decide on the size of your tuna dough. You want to make it tight, double knotted, but be careful not to apply too much pressure in the meat because it would go inside the meat. Keep going all the way down the loin. Once all your pieces have been tied up on your loin, just cut the strings off. Keep the ends for a mousseline or a future um, project. Then cut right in the middle of the string, in between the two strings. Next, we will start the dry vermouth sauce, which will be the base for the sea urchin sauce. In a saute pan, pour in your dry vermouth. And some chopped shallots. Once the pan is really hot, just sear in your salmon tuna dose 
The salmon is seared in olive oil. Gently turn them upside down, color them on the other side, and then finish it in the oven. Three to four minutes at 375 degrees. Fish stock is added to the reduced vermouth mixture. It's reduced and butter is incorporated. It's strained, then blended with sea urchin roe. The seaweed mixture called wakame starts presentation. You should preheat your awashi yakame, or ocean salad, in the oven for about two minutes. Gives it a better flavor. Place the sea urchin, the uh, tornado salmon atop the ocean salad. And pour in around your sea urchin sauce. For decoration, we'll use a little bit coolie. Beautiful pansy. As well as some calendula. Thank you.